You do you, boo. I'm just over here, offering password advice and everything. Welcome to Ask Firefox, the show where we break down some of the best ways to navigate the world wide web that seems to get more and more complicated every day. But that's why we're here, to uncomplicate things for you. And today we're talking about passwords. So let's start with the basics. Here's a question I'm sure a lot of us can relate to. How do you make a secure password that's also easy to remember? Is that even possible? Why, yes, person on the internet. It is totally possible. For starters, here's what not to do. Don't pick a common password like 12345 or password. It may sound like a joke, but those are literally the most used real passwords collected from data breaches. So apparently a lot of people are doing it. Basically, you don't want something that's too easy to guess or even something that's easy to find out about you. So don't use your middle name, your grandma's name, your pet's name, your daddy's name, your uncle's name, nobody's name. So you might think then, using a random string of numbers, letters, and special characters like capital S, 3C, capital R, 3T, exclamation, question mark, underscore, would do it. While that is decently secure, it's not the greatest, and it's pretty doggone hard to remember, especially if you have 15 other different ones just like it. Currently, the U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology, whew, talk about a mouthful, the NIST, or is it NIST? Security experts recommend the use of passphrases as the most secure and easy to remember way to stay logged into all your favorite places. Simply put, a passphrase is just a string of words. But similar to passwords, you still want to avoid easy to guess ones like a common phrase, a question, or even your favorite song lyric. You want it to be a little random, but something you might remember like, easy to see, you are a cutie. The longer, the better. But of course, too long and you'll probably start to forget. Now you don't want to use the same password for different accounts. The last thing you want is a data breach in just one account, and now everything with the same password is now compromised. So imagine logging into every website, bank account, social media platform, and having to come up with new passwords. So start smart and create unique, strong passphrases for different accounts. So now you've done a good thing. You have 20 different easy to remember, but long and randomish passphrases for all your different logins. But then it all starts to get a little like scrambled eggs all up in your brains. Was it, you are a cutie? Or, I'm a cutie. Is a cutie the same as a tangerine? You see what I'm saying? Now my brain's all discombobulated and whatnot, which leads us to our next question. Roll it. What's your stance on password managers? And which ones are the most secure? Are they worth the effort to set up? Wait a second, that's like three questions. But we got you, boo. The short answer is yes, they're worth the effort. In fact, we covered some of this in our last episode on back to school tips. So let me recap. You got a few different options for managing passwords. Most modern browsers have a built-in password manager. Hey, that's a good place to start. It's already there, it's free, and it's usually pretty easy to set up. Obviously, we're partial to our own browser, and one nice feature is that you can sync your passwords to your Firefox account. So that way, you can access them on any device you've installed Firefox, both desktop and mobile. It can even generate complex passwords for you, which makes things even more secure. Security! Just make sure you set a primary password for your account. Eh, hold up. A password for your passwords? Yeah, it's a pain, I know. But seriously, don't skip it. It's super important. After all, you don't want just anyone to jump on your browser and ransack all your accounts, do you? I don't think so. But just like Firefox, don't forget your primary password. Seriously, if you forget it, you could lose all your passwords and, well, ain't nobody got time for that. Well, at least not in this video. Another option to keep in mind is multi-factor authentication, or MFA. You might have heard of two-factor authentication. That's good, but multi is even better. Basically, MFA is when your account requires two or more pieces of information or factors to log into your account. These fall under three categories. Something you know, like a password or a PIN number. Something you have, like your phone or a debit card. And three, something you are, like your fingerprint or your face. If your account requires two or more of these things to log in, that's much harder for someone to hack. So if you want to set up MFA, a good place to start is that primary password for your Firefox account or password manager, which you can activate in the settings. Boop. And if you want to be super secure, you can even use a third-party authenticator app like Duo Security. That's what we use in Mozilla, because around here, oh, we don't play that. Okay, one last question. Besides good password hygiene, is there anything else I need to do to stay secure? Truth is, you still have to stay on top of it. Even if you follow all these protocols, there's still a chance some password gets compromised somewhere, somehow. To stay ahead of that, Firefox has a handy dandy tool called Monitor. All you do is you put in your email address and it'll notify you if you've been part of many data breaches. There's some other tips that might be a little obvious, but I'll go over them anyway. Do not give out your password, right? It seems like it's pretty straightforward, 
but you'd be surprised. If you can, just make a guest account if you need to give someone access. Otherwise, it's not a good idea to be giving out your passwords all willy-nilly. Do not store all your passwords in a text file or some note-taking app. If it can be accessed digitally, it's vulnerable to hackers. That said, there's absolutely no shame in your game if you want to write down your passwords in a physical notebook. I know, I know. That sounds like something your grandma would do, but Granny might be onto something. For one thing, nobody can hack your notebook. You have to physically have it in your possession. So unless Tom Cruise is going all Mission Impossible on your place, you're probably good. Just keep it somewhere safe. A post-it note under your keyboard does not count. Well, there you have it, folks. Some tips on how to deal with our password-protected lives. How to make them, how to manage them, and how to keep them secure. Let us know which of these tips is most helpful for you. Have any other burning questions about tech, web 3.0? Give us a shout below or check us out on Twitter or Instagram, at Firefox. Thanks for watching, as usual. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more tech tips. I'm Shanae. See you next time.